Yeah, and I think crystals, what just to just to go there for a second, are pretty awe inspiring things that whether you're a child, whether you're an adult, crystals are amazing. Whether or not you even believe in the spiritual side of crystals or whether you just love how they look and the formations they take, they're undeniably awesome. And in, in crystallography, which is the study of the atomic structure of crystals, when we look at the atomic level of how crystals are formed, they're these layering matrices of particular shapes based upon the minerals that they're made out of. Mm. And these shapes at an atomic geometrical level have a state of resonance. So, you know, shapes um, have certain angles. Those angles create certain frequencies, bend light in certain ways, and then this creates a representative form. So I think that these qualities that speak to us through crystals have something to do with the bending of this light, the changing of frequencies and the, the they're stable in this um, form that is like, you know, eternally represented for them in this, in this state. And I think science is still yet to fully tie this in a bow and make it clear to everyone. But yeah. um, for the listeners, I don't think that crystals are woo at all. And that whatever woo is involved in crystal land is just still coming to settle in, in terms of scientific understanding. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot here to unpack. 